This is from the deck of cabin number two. Those are the waterfalls of Jasper Creek. They're really low right now. It's fall time and we're getting ready to close the cabin up. That means draining all the water. Before I did that, I thought I'd show you what the cabin looks like and what surrounds it. There's Delilah running in the woods right there. But we're about uh, 40 feet from the falls and in the summer when they're really ripping hard, it's quite loud here. But it's a very pleasant sound as well. So you get a, there's a barbecue grill right there. And picnic table covered in pine needles because my Uncle Frank planted that tree a long time ago. And it's doing quite well. It's been there for many, many, many years. Anyway, into the cabin. This is cabin number two. I remodeled this kitchen a few years ago. Try to keep the old stuff with the new stuff and blend it all together. Right over here is the bathroom. It's a bathroom. Lavatory sink, flush toilet. They're all pretty much the same. This cabin was from the 1930s. My grandfather bought it. It was a lookout tower cabin from the lookout tower road. And he and my dad, when my dad was a little kid, took it apart in four pieces and brought it back here and wrestled it into place. And so everything in this building is a little bit crooked. Doing remodeling jobs on it is a much greater challenge. But it's got a lot of character. Underneath these ceiling tiles in here, there are boards with patterns of nails, circular patterns of nails in them, and they're old beaver stretching boards. I never forgot that. They were in there for years and years and years. You could see where the they used beaver boards, what we call a beaver board, to stretch. And uh, that's what held the roof. Oh, it's what's underneath these tiles right here. So, this cabin is out in the woods next to the waterfall. That's its allure. A lot of people request this one specifically because it's next to the creek. And with good reason. You sleep like a log when you're next to the creek. Cabin number two.